it back up here. Today we're gonna do something a little different. I haven't done this. I have not done this before. Just bear with me. I'm going to try to speak very clearly and slowly. All right. We're gonna do. I want to do a little review on. Uh, show you guys how to use XSplit, the um, um the game caster. It's really awesome. <laughs> now, oh by the way, guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. And if y'all do like this video, uh, smash. And if you think it helps you out at all, smash that like button for me. And uh, if you want to see more. Well, on this stuff or anything that I do, hit subscribe and comment below what tell me what you think. Now, um, we get into this first. It's in Steam. You can get it in Steam. I'm gonna pull my Steam, pull Steam out here. There we are. All right. That's some update, uh, update downloading. Just ignore that. But we're gonna go to the store. I'll show you where to find it. Just type. Yep, I just already found it here. Right here. Exploit. Just type in exploit and you find it right here. Now there's some different versions. You can get a, um, a free version. Which is not as good. It doesn't have as many. Um, uh, I can't remember what it was. I started out with the free version, and I switched to the 9.99 a month uh, premium. But um, I believe it did. There's a few things it didn't have. There's a lot of graphic, a lot of certain settings you couldn't do. I recommend the 9.99, especially if you do videos like two or three times a week, like I am. I definitely recommend it. So you should just download it, uh, buy, it, or you can do the free version. Either the one you want. I'm gonna match my library here. I'm gonna pull up uh where did they explode that? Explode where are you? Uh, bad vision. Uh where are you at? You know what? We're just gonna minimize this. We're not gonna get to it so here. We'll just do this right here. Minimize steam. Explode up here. We'll just do this. <laughs> now I haven't used um uh, the broadcaster. I haven't had a reason for it. I think that's for doing like podcasts and certain things like that. But right now I'm using OBS software to uh, record this. Now I've used OBS software. I've tried using it to record um, um, videos, like games. I mean, you know, you play in, uh, for example, the first one I did was Spore. And you go back and watch that. You can see, yes. Uh, you go back and watch that video, and you'll see the bad frames in that video. And it's just, I don't think, I know there's some finagling you can do in the settings that makes it good for um, um, recording. Uh, games. I, mean, I don't. I, I've watched YouTube videos. I've tried doing all the settings, and I could not figure it out. It was still framey as heck. I mean, I have a graphics card. I shouldn't have that problem. Um, I'll show you a few things on here. So this is your main page. One bad thing about what OBS has over XSplit is it has a lot more functions when it comes to um, settings, um, all the little uh, inserts you can add to it. But it can be a little complicated. But XSplit, on the other hand, goes settings, and it's very simple and laid out for you. So here's the camera. Let's move around. Let's move ourselves here. It's that one to load up. There we are. Yeah, see? Hello. But yeah, uh, you see your camera, you can add, uh, check this out. You add your chroma keys, uh, green, blue, or red, if you have a, um, uh, a back backdrop for it, which I don't have one. I just, it's not really that expensive, it's just. I don't have that many subscribers. Uh, I get a thousand. I'm, I told myself I'm not spending no more money on this channel until I get some um, actual subscribers. At least at that thousand subscribers, I will get a better camera, I will get a better mic, and I will get a green screen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right now it's just for fun. I'm having fun with it. But get to the settings here first. Make sure. I'm actually, going to settings right here. Make sure if you have a graphics card, your your codec. Except for your graphics card, see the NVIDIA and you got uh, your CPU. Make sure that is set for your gra your graphics card, or else the quality is not going to be near as good. Unless you got a really good CPU, then you might not have to worry about it. But if you've got a graphics card, might as well go and use it for that. Say, so, I always set my frame rate for at least for 60. It should, oh, not up 30. Go 60, please. It's low. Come on now. You know you want to go to it. Thank you. The bit rate, I wouldn't mess with that too much unless you know what you're doing with it. Uh, stream delay, I don't have that on there because my stream already has a good 20 second delay. All streams do, so I'm not gonna add another delay to that. Um, what else we got here? We have bit rate, we got servers, we got oh, resolution, yeah. I always do 1080p uh, HD. I'm not sure what 1440 quad HD is. But I'm sure it'll run a lot slower and probably have some problems. 
a CPU and my graphics card might have problems on that. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. But I'm going to exile that. So yeah, you have stream settings, you have record settings. Your stream settings, pretty much the same thing. Um, let's see. Yep, sorry guys, I'm making sure something. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, you got your frame rate, you got your um, uh, stream delay, all that stuff. Same thing. Wait, did that hit? Let's, hit. Let's check something here. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I had originally went to stream. Okay, now we're on the record settings. Okay, quality, ultra high. This is record settings right here. I set mine for ultra high. Um, and now, the higher the quality, the bigger your your uh, files are going to be when you go to render. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to give you a quick uh, view of my, record, my editing software that I use. It's pretty neat. Um, which makes everything render. Uh, let's see. The problem with OBS software is though, I use a Sony Vegas um, uh, Studio 13 Platinum and it does not accept the file types that OBS makes. So I had to download a video converter, which are easy, they're online, they're easy, they're free, they're everywhere, you can find them. You type in video converter on Google and you'll find one pretty easily. It's, it works pretty good. It takes a while, it's like it takes twice as long. But first you gotta render and transfer over from OBS to that, to a file for your, um, uh, that, uh, that your uh, movie studio will accept, and then you gotta edit, and then render that. It's another good hour, and then you have to upload it on YouTube, and depending on your internet speed, that can be up to three to five hours. <laughs> so, you understand why a lot of people like to stream nowadays, because there's a lot of time involved in all that, and, and when you're recording, uh, rendering, or uploading, you cannot record anything. It's just, your CPU won't allow it, your graphic card won't allow it, it'll be all framey, I've tried it. There's an episode of My Little Blacksmith Shop that you can go back and watch, and it was pretty bad. I was trying to um, um, record while I was uploading, and it was bad. I didn't think, well, you know, well, I was uploading from a different, um, um, from a different hard drive. Apparently it's because it runs the same CPU, and recording used a lot of CPU, even when you're using your graphics card. So, let's get back to this, what we're doing here. Um, you know, split, split files. I haven't really haven't had a reason for that. Uh, yep, this is my settings here. Also, we got for your screenshots. I always go JPEG, of course. Um, see, they got some little betas they got going here. Uh, enable new tech. See, show mouse, show mouse cursor, allow. And we'll go into a game, I'll show you the in game settings, how, how you get everything going when you're uh, doing this. This is just precursor settings, make sure everything's good to go. Different microphones, always have mine right, this is my microphone here. And then camera, of course, well, you see is you know, your cameras and stuff like that. You can do settings for all of these. Contrast, brightness, hue, all this kind of cool stuff. It's all compartmentalized, you know, in different areas, easier to find other than OBS being a complete maze. <laughs> it's a maze to me anyways. This right here. Mono set, all that stuff I hear, noise suppression beta, I've got that set, so if I set, I've set down, it's very important, well, what you do is, you set that, it'll, um, uh, you, it'll say, be quiet, for like five seconds, it'll, it'll record all your background noise, and so when you're gonna actually record the, for your video, it cancel out, cancels out that background noise, which can be an air conditioner, or your fan, or something like that, now OBS does not do that. I think it does, but it's a lot more complicated to figure out. And I'm betting you're hearing a lot of noise right now. My, I have no fan on, but it's hearing apparently the dryer on the other side of the house. So <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about here. Um, I have a pop filter. I have the foam thing. I'm gonna show you guys my mic setup right here. See? Oh, my chroma, my chroma screen is on. One second. Why is this thing on? Turn you off. Uh, back to original. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you this. See? That's my mic setup. The boom, everything, the mic. Alright. Here's, I have a dual monitor. I'm gonna try to show you guys this real quick. Dual monitor setup. Yep, that's, that's a Mac. I have a cord attached to this, my keyboard and everything. But you can't really see what's going on there. Whoa, 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 whoa. This video was really meant for you seeing, my, seeing me, anyways. I just. Camera right there, don't matter. Anyways, let's get back to it. Um. Settings, settings, settings. Microphone, camera, BRB graphics. This is a very good thing to have right here. It's amazing. So if you're trying to change the setting or something happens with your game, 
you have a picture set to come up when you, um, uh, right here. You can change it. See, enable BRB graphics. You can change what the picture is going to be. And it's pretty cool. Like, if you're doing a stream and you want them to show whatever stream thumbnail you're doing, you can change it anytime. It's very easy to do. And I'm also going to show you what, um, uh, what, um, what software I use for thumbnails, which I recently found. It's freaking amazing. But, well, and it's free. That's what's amazing about it. It's free. You know, let's go down here. Application language, Eng English, English. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Having problem problems with my English right now. Keyboard language, close application. Yep, yeah, alright. Um, overlay. Sh this is all the uh, hotkeys. This is the amazing part right here. All the hotkeys. Here's a mine. I don't have that many seconds. Not too much I do. Yeah, you know, I'm a basic pull the thing up. I'm about to show you guys how this works here in a second. How the in game stuff works. System sound. This is important right here. If you don't want, if you want them to be able to hear your voice over your game music, one, you need to turn your system sound down, like almost to nothing, and you need to go in your settings on your game and turn the music level down and all the volume sound. I've learned this very hard lesson in three videos when I first started recording. I had to scrap because you could not hear anything I said because the music volume was so loud and I couldn't, I didn't realize it. So, you know, it's that's what happens with that. It's, you make sure you keep your corny. <laughs> make sure your mic volume's up and your audio volume is down. Also, always wear headphones. See, because if you got speakers going, that's gonna double. That's gonna be a double relay into your mic, and it's not gonna sound very good. It's not gonna sound good at all. So I'm gonna um, uh, see. Yep. Our hotkeys. We got screenshots. You hear screenshots right here. A few recordings. I. I I usually transfer all my recordings once I um, uh, edit and render them. The ones I rendered onto a portable hard drive was a very smart idea. They're not that expensive. It's a way to keep your computer from getting overloaded with, with memory, uh, especially. See, I have. Let me show you guys something real quick. What about this? I have, you know, I'm um, this PC. I have my local disk, which is a solid state drive, 118 gigabytes. My game storage, which is two terabytes, and I have, well, it's not plugged in, but I have a portable hard drive, which is about, I think, a terabyte. And it's pretty amazing. I, once, once I record a video, I edit it, I transfer it over onto the hard drive. But I'm getting away from what we're supposed to be here. It's supposed to be about XSplit. I'll talk more about other stuff than I have XSplit. So, but, oh, by the way, when you minimize the XSplit, you're not going to see it on your bottom bar. So you add your little arrow right here and pull it up right here. Start. Okay. See the settings? All right. Um... What else is in here I need to show you guys? There's not much on this page that you need to see. Um, where is it? Uh, stream settings. Now, this on stream settings, you can do... No. See? You can save to a disk, too. Say, I have a disk running, and be saving to a disk. Hard disk or hard drive. Is it hard drive or hard disk? Save copy of your live stream to your recording folder. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. Stream blade. We don't want none of that. We don't want none of that. All right. I'm gonna show you how this stuff works. We're gonna pull up a game. See, you want exploit to be uh, going, but minimized when you do this. So we're gonna pull up the easy game to pull up. Pull up one of warships. This is a good example. I'll show you guys how this works. Play. Let me know what's up. Oh, we're, we're, we're good on time. We're, we're good on time. Alright. I wish I keep my videos. Oh, we got a little issue here. You're going to see a lot of finagling around happen. Wait, right? something's happening. Okay. Now, you're going to see on the top left it says frame per second and CPU. That's a setting that I set. It's an amazing setting. And we're going to get this game. See if the game wants to start. Yeah, it's loading. Okay. We're gonna, I'm going to hit Control Tab. Maybe. Possibly want to work. It's a little finicky to get. I think the game is to start first. There we go. Connect. I know that. I don't want to see that. <laughs> we have to try to go back and edit that part out. We're not you know, edit. You edit out my email. I don't want to be showing y'all my email. All right. We're gonna do this. All right. See this right here? These are some amazing settings. So you got mic volume, audio volume. Turn your camera on and off. 
set the camera coming up here. And it's going to come up. Come on, camera. Hey, you know you want to work. Anyway, well, that's loading up. Wait, oh, is it coming up? Maybe possibly? All right. This right here is slick you know, YouTube live feature. This is pretty cool right here. I'll show you when, you, when I'm going to hit stream. Uh, let's see. If this would like to come up, my mic. It's got one. Come on. You know you want to work. You know you want to. Sometimes it's a little finicky. It's just got to load up for a second. Alright, let's go to the next thing here. Um, you can, um, let's go down the list. Morning, sound, mic, YouTube stuff. There it is, see? And you can, what you can do here it is, um, uh, you can resize it, put it anywhere you want on the whole thing here. Put it over here. My computer's acting a little funny right now because I'm trying to record and it's still, oh, anyways. Yeah, it moved face around, all that cool, kind of cool stuff. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Alright. Let's go ahead and you can also just choose not to do it. Turn that off. You can share, um, host your live stream URL, Twitter, Facebook. That's all. That's something I wish I'd seen before. I'm always trying to like pull my phone out and you gotta you wanna like post it on Facebook. Now I know I can do that. That's a I need to leave my Facebook to that. Um let's see what is this? Add image or URL widget to your um uh this is pretty cool when you add a preset image or yeah. You feel like um uh, subscribe button and stuff like that. But you can do that on on your YouTube settings too. On the end of it add the an annotation and stuff like that. What is this? View and share your screenshot. Okay. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to let's go to stream. Watch this. This is amazing right here. You set your um uh what you wanna do here when you don't, you're streaming on YouTube. On your other screen, you're gonna have your sign in YouTube, hit um uh, start streaming, and do all your settings, and your settings, you know, like the description will show up here. This is from the last stream I did, the depth stream. But yeah, you can do a lot of things here. Description, privacy, public, all that stuff like that. Stream more. Uh, start bracket, rock, start broadcast, which we're not going to do. Uh, hit cancel. And you also hit start you can record, which I'm not sure if I want to hit that button right now. But you know, let's go ahead and hit it. Screw it. And you see this up here? See? Record. Recording. What I'm going to do is, you, you can do this. Hit control, control tabs again. Come on. There we go. You can hit pause, or you can hit stop. Yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a good little setting. You got help right here. Back to game. It's amazing. Now, if you don't want this stuff popping up, all you gotta do is just turn, is exit out of the exploit. Close the exploit. Which is, actually, I'm gonna show you this right now. Okay. Exit game. Yes. Alright. Go down the little arrow here, right click exit, exit. There we are, yep, we're done. Alright. So, yeah, that's all of that. Um, what else was I gonna show? Yes, this is, I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse. Let me know if y'all wanna see a video on this. This is Gip2, it's what I use to make my thumbnails. It's freaking awesome. It's free, I'm gonna say that right now, it's free. Um, I, um, I recommend you watch some YouTube tutorials in, on Gip. Um, <laughs> because, when I first downloaded this, I was like, what in the world is this sorcery? Um, what is this mathematical thing? But it's actually very simple to use. I'm not, I'm not getting into it right now. If y'all want to see a video on it, I will show you how I make my thumbnails, the simple ones. But yeah, all these settings, it's really cool, it's free. Photoshop is stupidly expensive for no reason. Because I remember back in the day, when it, when computers, you know, back in the AOL day, all computers just about had Photoshop. They came with almost all the softwares. It was pretty dang free, actually. Now it's like fifty dollars a month or some bull crap. So I re highly recommend Gimp to. Highly recommend it. I will put. I'll try to put it in my description to download it for y'all. All right. Um. What else can we show you guys real quick? I know I can't pull up OBS software because I'm already using it right now. But hmm, what else can I show you guys with XSplit? It's one. It's a very simple uh, program to use. The main thing I like about it. It's very simple. It saves your settings from the last time. OBS I do that sometimes, but it's just such a pain. I know a lot of people like to use it, but 
When it comes to recording high quality games, I prefer XSplit. That's just my opinion. My opinion. Anyway, guys. So, I hope y'all have an awesome day. And if y'all like this video, if you want to see more like this, or you want to see some other things, um, please let me know. And, uh, smash the like button if y'all, if y'all, blah, blah, words today. Words. Words are a problem. They're always a problem. <laughs> anyway, y'all have an awesome day. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys later.